A month and a half ago, I took a look at the reference RX 480 and deemed it to be the best valued 1080p high performance graphics card at the time. A lot has shifted in the GPU market since that review, including the release of the RX 470 and 460, pricing of Pascal GPUs has been all over the place, and Nvidia announced the 3GB VRAM model of the GTX 1060. All of this has put a lot of pressure on the RX 480 to remain competitive in the current graphics card landscape. MSI South Africa sent their aftermarket Gaming X variant of the RX 480 over for review, and while it performs perfectly well, its place in the market isn't really well defined. I'm now going to go ahead and rush through the overview of this card. One, because you can check out my reviews of the other MSI Gaming X cards there, and two, my conclusion will likely be a longer one. So let's jump in. The Gaming X RX480 sports the Gaming X standard red and black design, poorly implemented RGB MSI logo, GPU support bracket, subtly designed backplate, and the twin Frozer 6 cooling with Torx 2.0 fan setup. The card stayed pretty cool under load, hitting a max of 64 degrees Celsius during my testing, which is barely over the threshold to turn the fans on in the first place. MSI strikes again with their incredibly effective cooling solution. MSI also implemented the silent gaming and OC mode clock speeds for the GPU, with the OC mode sporting a 1316 MHz core clock and 8100 MHz memory clock on its 8GB of GDDR5 VRAM. It also sports a single 8-pin power connector to help deal with the power consumption issues that came up with the reference 480. For outputs, MSI includes dual HDMI 2.0 ports, dual DisplayPort 1.4 ports, and a single DVI-D. Now on to benchmarks. Overall, the Gaming X RX 480 performed about 5-12% better than the reference RX 480 in any given benchmark, with it still staying firmly in the category of being a great card for 1080p, well enough for 1440p, and a slight underperformer for basic 4K gaming. Value-wise, this card is in a terrible position. I'll explain more after the charts. But suffice it to say that the Gaming X RX 480 underperformed the Gaming X GTX 1060 by anywhere from 5 to 10% in my gaming testing suite. Here's the honest truth. There is no reason to buy this graphics card for gaming at its current price point. Right now, in South Africa, it costs more. Yes, more than the Gaming X GTX 1060 6GB edition. And on Newegg, it's going for $290 compared to the GTX 1060's $300, a delta of only $10 or 3%, which is more than made up for by the GTX 1060's better performance. The RX 480 performs worse in nearly every metric. Asterisk here, and there's a price premium for it. This card either needs to have a severe price drop or needs to be taken off the market and MSI should stick to selling the various 1060s that it offers. Now back to that asterisk after such a bold statement. One, I know that the RX 480 beats the 1060 in Vulcan. I get it. But most games don't use Vulcan. If you're only going to be playing Doom and Dota 2, and the other couple of titles that support that API, then by all means, completely ignore me and feel free to flame down below in the comments. But for the rest of the population that plays more than two games, the GTX 1060 is currently the better card. This isn't a statement about future performance, it's about current performance. Currently, get the GTX 1060 if you want better gaming frame rates, and more power efficient frame rates for that matter. There have been so many comments on how the RX 480 is the better card because of the future performance games that gains that it will get in Vulkan and DirectX 12. One, in my DirectX 12 testing, it's really not that much of an advantage. And in Vulkan, I just find it incredibly silly to buy things now on future promises for an API that may not be broadly adopted in Vulkan's case. 
I think it would be better to wait for a broader game adoption and simply buy the next iteration of AMD GPUs rather than banking on the RX 480 really showing up only in a couple of titles at this point. A second point to this asterisk is that I know that the RX 480 and AMD cards in general have been tremendously better for various coin mining scenarios. So please note I'm really only talking about gaming here, not anything really beyond that scope. I was frankly impressed with this card from its looks, being slightly slimmer than the Nvidia Gaming X cards, to its actual performance. But that glee soured when I did my pricing research in anticipation of doing this review. In South Africa, there's basically no reason to buy this card for gaming. Get MSI's 1060 Gaming X, or maybe even their 1060 6G TOC, which will save you another 800 Rand. The RX 480 Gaming X just is in a terrible position with its retail pricing structure. And it's a card that I can't recommend at all at this point given the RX 480's slightly worse frame rates and slightly worse power consumption. And unfortunately, I haven't yet been able to test a 3GB variant of the 1060, so I can't comment on whether or not that will put even more pressure on the RX 480 with the 1060's lower MSRP. Here's my final thought. If you already bought the Gaming X RX 480, you got a solid card, likely one of the best RX 480s out on the market. If you're planning on buying one, please check the pricing. Make sure it's at least 5-10% to or so lower than a GTX 1060s, since that's likely the performance delta you'll be handed in most games. Again, unless of course you're sticking to Doom and Dota. This isn't the conclusion that I was hoping to come to when I started my review of this card, but unfortunately the data really didn't let me go anywhere else. So like this video if you found it helpful at all, dislike it if you disagree with me or my conclusions, leave a comment down below if you want to voice your tremendous displeasure at me railing against an AMD card, fair enough. You can subscribe to stay up to date on all of my tech related content and I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.